The Titanic was built in Belfast by the shipbuilding company Harland & Wolf. The company was owned by Lord Pirrie, a friend of Bryce Ismay, managing director of the White Star Line. The chief designer of the Titanic was his son-in-law, Thomas Andrew. Construction of the Titanic began in 1909. Harland and Wolfe had to make alterations to their shipyard, larger piers and gantries to accommodate the giant liners, Titanic and her sister ship Olympic. The two ships were to be built side by side. The Titanic was constructed with, six, constructed with 16 watertight compartments. Each compartment had doors that were designed to close automatically if the water level rose above a certain height. The doors could also be electronically closed from the bridge. Titanic was able to stay afloat if any two compartments or the first four became flooded. Shortly after Titanic hit the iceberg, it was revealed that the six compartments were flooded. There were 24 double-ended boilers and five single-ended boilers which were housed in six boiler rooms. The double-ended boilers were 20 feet long, had a diameter of 15 feet and 9 inches and contained six coal-burning furnaces. The single-ended boilers were 11 feet and 9 inches long with the same diameter and three furnaces. Smoke and waste gases were expelled through three funnels. Titanic's fuel funnels were constructed away from the site and were then transported to the shipyard for putting on the Titanic. Only three of the funnels were used to expel smoke and waste gases. The fourth was added to make the ship look more powerful. Titanic had three propellers which were powered by steam. The rotation of the propellers powered the ship through the sea. Titanic was launched in 1911. The next 10 months were spent completing the interior of the ship. The total cost of the RMS Titanic was $7.5 million in 1912.